Hi, I'm Marnie and let's share together another story. Today is Father's Day and this is a special tribute to our great Father in Heaven and all the fathers in history. Let's start with a short reading. What makes God smile? According to Numbers 6 verse 25, May the Lord smile on you. According to Psalm 119 verse 135, Smile on me, your servant. Teach me the right way to live. The smile of God is the goal of your life. Since pleasing God is the first purpose of your life, your most important task is to discover how to do, to do that. The Bible says, figure out what will please Christ and then do it. Fortunately, the Bible gives us a clear example of a life that gives pleasure to God. The man's name was Noah. In Noah's day, the entire world had become morally bankrupt. Everyone lived for their own pleasure, yeah. not God's. God couldn't find anyone on earth interested in placing him, so he was grieved and regret making man. God became so disgusted with the human race that he considered wiping it out. But there was one man. Who made God smile? The Bible says, Noah was a pleasure to the Lord. God said, This guy brings me pleasure. He makes me smile. I'll start over with his family. Because Noah brought pleasure to God, you and I are alive today. From his life, we learn the five acts of worship that make God smile. In our physical life nowadays, let us be like Noah in loving our Father. Number one, God smiles when we love Him supremely, same as our Father smiles when we love them supremely just like noah let us consistently follow our father's will and enjoy a close relationship with him because they don't want our sacrifices what they want is just our love they don't want our offerings they want us to know them better Napakaswerte nyo kapag merong padre de familia na yung sa panday. Kasi halos lahat ng mga gusto nyo ipagawa, gawin, ihirit lang kayo, okay na. Yan. Itong place na to, nilambing ko kay Papa para sa online learning kung sakali. At least, makakasagap siguro ako dito ng okay-okay na signal. Ang need na akong pumunta doon sa bundok pa na pinupuntahan ko para lang makakuha ng maayos na signal. And, sundan natin si Papa. Magpapakain pa siya ng baboy. Yung mga gamit, dito lang muna. Hindi eh, naman yan mawawala. Wala namang kukuha dito. Let's go! God smiles when we trust Him completely. Just like our Father smiles when we trust them completely. It took Noah 120 years to build the ark. I imagine he faced many discouraging days with no sign of rain year after year. He was ruthlessly criticized as a crazy man who thinks God speaks to him. I imagine Noah's children were often embarrassed by the giant ship being built in their front yard, yet Noah kept on trusting God. So, let's ask ourselves, in what areas of our life do we need to trust God completely? 
to trust our Father completely. Trusting is an act of worship. Just as parents are pleased when we children trust their love and wisdom, our faith makes God and makes our Father happy. The Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Number 3. God smiles when we obey Him wholeheartedly. Just like our Father smiles when we obey them wholeheartedly. Often we try to offer our Father partial obedience. We want to pick and choose the commands we obey. We make a list of the commands we like and obey those while ignoring the ones we think are unreasonable, difficult, expensive, or unpopular. But it comes only by grace, not our effort. As a child of God, of our Father, we can bring pleasure to our Heavenly Father through obedience. Any act of obedience is also an act of worship. Why is obedience so pleasing to God? Because it proves you really love Him. Jesus said, If you love me, you will obey my commandments. Inabot ng 8 days, pero hindi dera-derecho yun. Kasi kung dera-derecho, ang tagal na nitong tapos. Yan. Bakit hindi nagdera-derecho? Kasi syempre, kailangan pang patuyuin yung, yung bamboo. Kailangan pang patuyuin yung anahaw, bago sila ilagay. Then, yung pangunguha pa nun. Then, ang dami pang mga sagabal na ibang activities. Pero, yay! Malapit nang matapos. Usay-usay talaga ng papa namin. Eh. Naman number, number four. Ang wala naman na. God smiles ah, when you praise boy. and thank Him continually. Tapos iluluto. Just like how we give thanks to our Father. During this very special day, Father's Day, and on my next video, I am going to upload the food that I bake for this special celebration. Number 5. God smiles when we use our abilities. Just like a proud parent, God specially enjoys watching us use the talents and abilities He has given us. God intentionally gifted us differently for His enjoyment. You don't bring glory or pleasure to God by hiding your abilities or by trying to be someone else. You only bring Him enjoyment by being you. Anytime you reject any part of yourself, you are rejecting our Father's wisdom and sovereignty in creating you. And I think that's why we bear our Father's family name because we have to bring glory to the family, to Him. Sana marami tayong matutunan sa pandemic na kinakaharap natin ngayon and let us all celebrate Father's Day humbly and sincerely. Yadi po si Maria, magiripanan kita sa susunod na istorya.